Imagine the numbers 1 through 6 are placed in a hat. Below, I've listed all the possible outcomes if two of those numbers are chosen without replacement. So the reason I have a, a dash in the 1, 1 intersection is that you can't get 1 twice if you don't replace. Same thing goes for 2, 2 and 3, 3. These would be possibilities that can't occur if there's no replacement. So if we count up the number of possible permutations now, it's not 36 like it was in our previous experiment. It is now just 30. And using the fundamental counting principle here, we would multiply the number of choices that we had for the first pick times the number of choices for the second pick. But you're going to remove the first pick from the hat which means you'll only have five choices for that second pick. And that's one way we could arrive at the uh, result of 30 here. We can also do this on the calculator using the permutation button. So to do it on the TI-30 calculator, uh, TI-30X2S, you'd want to press uh, 6 first. Then press the PRB button. Then select NPR. And then put in 2. This says we're going to select two objects from six and find out how many different permutations we have without replacement though. That's what this button is for, only without replacement, not with. Okay, that gives us 30. To do it on the TI-84, you'll want to hit 6, then the math button, You'll want to go over to probability, and then from that menu, choice two is uh, NPR. So that's how we can get that on the TI-84+. plus. OK. Now, what is the calculator actually doing when it gives you that 30, what uh, calculations is it making? So the formula for permutations without replacement says NPR is N factorial over N minus R factorial. For our experiment, notice that our R is 2 we're selecting two elements. And our n is 6, because there were originally six possibilities. So when we find 6p2, the calculator is going to do n factorial over n minus r factorial, which is, of course, 6 factorial over 4 factorial. Now if you write all that out, you see an interesting thing. 6 factorial means 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You can see how they get the 30 here because we end up canceling a lot of things, leaving behind 6 times 5. Okay, so that's what the calculator is doing. Now let's look at our outcomes. And let's try to figure out how many different combinations there are where order doesn't matter. 
So in this case, I see we have a combination of with a two and a one there, but the combination one and two is actually the same combination because it doesn't matter what the order is. It's only considering uh, which elements are chosen, and here it's the same elements as those. So 2, 1 is a unique combination. So is 3, 1 and 3, 2. 4, 1 and 4, 2 and 4, 3, all unique. Okay. There we go. That's all the unique combinations. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 15. Fifteen unique combinations. All right, is there a formula that we could use for that to figure out how many combinations there are in this situation without drawing them all out? Turns out there is. Uh, the formula is shown down here. 6C2. As you can imagine here, C stands for combinations instead of permutations. Sometimes this is read 6 choose 2, which means you have 6 objects to choose from, and we're going to choose 2. This button uh, here is without replacement, and it's going to uh, assume that order doesn't matter. Okay, so let's try that on calculator. Just do the same thing as before, six, then the probability button. This time we'll select NCR. And yeah, calculator tells us 15. And you can get that on the TI-84 plus as well from the same location as the NPR. What is the calculator actually doing when it calculates that? It is doing n factorial, which is a 6 factorial, over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So that would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay. Cancel these. It's 30 divided by 2, which is 15. Now there is a formula for combinations with replacement. We can go back to our previous page and just try it. Um, it was actually the first page um, video that I had done for this section uh, where we had a example of a die being rolled twice and um, here were the um, results so in this example can we use the formula for combinations with replacement the formula says n plus r minus 1 cr. That's a way we could find out how many unique combinations there are in a experiment involving replacement. So our n is going to be 6, because there's 6 possibilities for the first roll. We're going to roll two dice, so R is two. 
And we just want to see how many different combinations there are. As you can see, they are circled in red, the different combinations. There's 21 of them. So we hope that our calculator will give us the correct answer here if we plug everything in right. So we want to do 6 plus 2 minus 1 choose 2. All right, I'll just simplify that lower left side first. 6 plus 2 minus 1 actually makes 7. So we want 7, uh, C2, and according to my calculator, it does come out 21. So we have a formula for every different possibility. If we want permutations with replacement, we would use the formula n to the r. That's permutations with replacement. Okay. If we want permutations without replacement, then we want n p r. If we want combinations, with replacement, n plus r minus 1 c r. And then if we want combinations without replacement, just simply NCR. Those are the four formulas that we'll want to use here.